Hey guys, Hugo the Poet here, just jumping on to give you a quick preview of the next TED rap that I'm preparing. It's in the editing suite right now, so hopefully ready soon. Uh, it's based on Alan Adams' excellent uh, TED talk on the topic of gravitational waves. Now, it's a complex issue and I don't have the best scientific understanding, um, but I thought that I would just jump on and uh, lay some groundwork for it. Gravitational waves have been in the news recently, and rightly so, because a momentous occasion happened in science very recently. Now, gravitational waves, as far as my limited understanding goes, were something predicted by Albert Einstein literally a hundred years ago. He posited uh, as part of his theory of general relativity that certain events or large-scale events in the cosmos like black holes uh, spiraling around each other or supernovae exploding uh, would send out ripples, not just light or not even light in the case of black holes, but would send out ripples into the actual fabric of space and time itself which would uh, compress and stretch uh, space and time as they spread out like the ripples on a pond. But he also said that um, if this was true, when they reached Earth, they would be infinitesimal, just so tiny that they would basically be indetectable. So that was a hundred years ago. 25 years ago, the, uh, some scientists, some clever uh, nut jobs, decided to take on that challenge and uh, actually try to detect these tiny, tiny ripples in space and time and they decided to try and build a machine that would do so. They built and designed it over 25 years and then late last year, the latest version of that machine, they switched it on and sure enough, within a couple of days or within a couple of weeks, they detected uh, gravitational waves. So. Basically, it was the culmination of a hundred years of scientific activity and that day when they detected it and they made the announcement was an incredibly momentous occasion in science and world history. So, it seems dry and strange, uh, gravitational waves, what's it all about? But there are huge implications of this. Not only does it uh, add another jigsaw piece to Einstein's theory and basically go a long way to proving the things he was talking about, uh, the existence of black holes, uh, what people have been talking about, the beginning of the universe, like the Big Bang, this kind of thing pr goes a long way to confirming uh, that theory and those theories. But there's other implications. It, it is a completely new way to observe the universe. It's not based on the visual, it's based on auditory signals or converting uh, invisible signals into auditory signals so that we can listen to them and understand them. The implications of this are huge. We don't know what this uh, will mean in the future, but fundamentally we can say that it's a new area of science, a new way to observe the universe, listening, not seeing. So, uh, we live in incredibly exciting times and uh, this TED rap that I'm doing is uh, just a way for me as a non-scientist to try and get in on the fun and the excitement and uh, try to contribute what I can as an artist. So as I said, complex issue. Um, that's my potted understanding of it, but an incredibly exciting one. If you want to check out the TED talk that it's based on, I'm going to put a link here, probably a video, maybe you can click here and see it if I've succeeded in working my program. And if I've succeeded in working my program, I'll also put another doco down here, Einstein's Messengers. Both great resources in order to try and understand this topic. And then, you know, once my TED rap is ready, watch that too. So guys, as I said, we live in incredibly exciting times uh, and respect to those uh, scientists, scientific figures who managed to pull off this amazing, amazing achievement. Keep going guys, great job. Thanks to my patrons for your support and thanks to everyone who's uh, watching my stuff on this channel. Take care, bye, oh and peace.